Yep, early voting is underway in the state of Georgia. That's where we are now. It's a highly contested Senate runoff between Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger, Herschel Walker. It's the start of the week-long early voting period, which leads up to the December 6th election. The incumbent, Warnock, beat Walker by more than 30,000 votes technically, but only earned 49.4% of the votes, while Walker earned 48.5%. Neither, though, securing the more than 50% threshold needed to win outright in the state. So despite Democrats already securing control of the Senate, the stakes do remain high for both parties. Our national correspondent Stephanie Sandoval is live with us in studio here in Atlanta. And Stephanie, when it comes to elections, it's pretty hard to get people to come out to the polls and vote, let alone a second time. Lindsay, it's very tough and that's one of the main concerns here both parties are worried about voter turnout today in georgia people in 27 counties were able to go out and cast their vote early after democrats argued in court that it should be allowed georgia voters are back at it again after neither u.s senate candidate won a majority in the november midterm election calling a rematch between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker. Some counties in the state opened polls early on Saturday after the Thanksgiving holiday after Warnock's campaign and others argued voting should be allowed. But the concern is over voter turnout since the race won't determine which party controls the majority in the Senate. However, stakes are still high. While Democrats have Senate control with at least 50 seats, grabbing another seat would mean it wouldn't have to rely on Vice President Kamala Harris as a tiebreaker. This is just one polling location out of many throughout the state of Georgia where people can come and vote early. The line is pretty long. People waiting here for about two hours just to cast their vote. But people I spoke to say they are willing to wait. How long did you end up waiting today? Right at two hours. It was, it was worth, worth the wait. I got here at uh, 7.15 and it took me about 40 minutes to vote. Uh, my wife uh, said she's going to sleep in and vote later and it's going to take her over two hours. <laughs> Hundreds came out to vote despite the long wait. A lot of getting together and prayers made this day happen because it almost didn't happen. One Georgia resident says she couldn't miss the opportunity and flew back home from New York just to cast her vote. What brought me out today is about change and the direction in which our country is heading. I feel that there's a lot of inequities, injustices, and we need to correct it. And the only way to correct that is at the polls. For many, it's about voting rights. We have, we have a long history of uh, voter suppression here, so e even more so, me and all these other people are saying uh, we need to come out to uh, protect our voting rights. And starting Monday, people in every county will be allowed to vote early. The runoff election day is scheduled for Tuesday, December 6th.